Let's take a look at this example. In this problem, we have following operations. We have multiplication, addition, we have power, we have parentheses. Inside of the parentheses, we have subtraction. We have also subtraction over here. We have power and we have power outside of the parentheses. So I'm going to solve this problem step by step. I'm going to start from powers, okay? If you are going to get more experience with order of operations, you are going to use shortcuts. But at this moment, I'm going to do everything step by step. So I'm going to do powers first. So I'm going to copy down 2 times 7 plus 405 raised to power 0. Any number beside 0 raised to power 0 is equal 1. 405 is different than 0. That's why 405 raised to power 0 is equal 1. Minus. Open parenthesis. I have to perform the powers. I have 13 minus 3 to the second power is equal 9. And the parentheses are raised to power 3 equals. Next, I suppose to perform the operation inside of the parentheses. Okay, so I have 2 times 7 plus 1 minus 13 minus 9 is equal 4 to the third power equals. And I have again power. I'm going to do everything step by step as I said before. 2 times 7 plus 1 minus 4 to the third power. 4 to the third power is 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is equal 16. 16 times 4 is equal 64. 64. So I'm going to have negative 64. I'm finished with the parentheses and powers. Next I can perform multiplication. 2 times 7 is equal 14. I have 14 plus 1 minus 64. Because addition and subtraction are equally important, I'm supposed to perform the operations from left to right at this moment. So I have 14 plus 1 is equal 15 minus 64. Now, this time I'm supposed to subtract bigger number from smaller number. You're supposed to remember the rule that anytime you subtract a bigger number from smaller number, you're supposed to perform the subtraction of the smaller number from the bigger one and keep the sign of the larger number. 64 minus 15. Borrow 1 from 6. This is 14. 14 minus 5 is equal 9. And I have 5 minus 1 is equal 4. This is 49, but if it comes to sign, you're supposed to always write the sign which is next to the bigger number. So that's why this is going to be negative 49. Remember, we have negative sign because we subtracted bigger number from smaller number. And this is the solution to my problem. We have another example on the board. Again, we are going to start from the operations which are inside of the brackets. We have subtraction, we have power, we have multiplication, and we have division. Okay, so I'm going to copy down the bracket and I have 52 minus 8 to the second power is equal 64 times 3 divided by 4 and everything is raised to the second power. I have 52. Next, I have multiplication and division. I'm supposed to perform these operations from left to right. 64 times 3 is equal 192 divided by 4 to the second power equals. Next, I'm supposed to perform the division inside of the brackets. I have 52 minus 192 
divided by 4 is equal 48. And everything is raised to the second power. Equals. Next, I'm supposed to perform the subtraction inside of the brackets. I have 52 minus 48 is equal 4. The second power. You can rewrite this as 4 to the second power. Equals. 4 to the second power is equal 16. And this is the solution to my problem.